Hey friends! So up front, I'm not normally a filter user, but um, I have no makeup on and I need a shower and I even have poison coming up on my mouth. So I just needed a filter today, okay? So I'll see if I can turn it off whenever I turn around to my stuff. I didn't even think about that, but I've been meaning to make a video as a tour of the primer bundle because I know a lot of you are excited to receive yours and you might want to have like a really detailed sneak peek beforehand. Some of you still may be on the fence, not sure about it. The pre-order ends this Sunday. Now I currently have 90 orders placed, so we're good to go. That minimum has been fulfilled and I'm planning on ordering 150 so there will be more after Sunday it's not a like get it right now or it's gonna be gone um, but how those sell will depend like on whether I continue to stock I just like let the Lord handle it just to be honest with you <laughs> because I'm not going you know the whole debt and trying to it's all confusing to me so anyway we just I just order what I can afford and you guys help me do that um, I wanted to show you really quickly my office Look at that sign. It's so exciting. I'm going to flip this around and let you see my office really, really quickly. Oh, the age group for primer is kindergarten and first grade. It's predominantly a kindergarten program, um, but a lot of people use it with kids that are a little bit older and a little bit younger. So there's some flexibility there. Okay, so this is the new office, and there's all my babies. I actually need this so I can show you this. And then this is where the magic happens. And I cannot tell you guys how much I love having a dedicated shipping computer and storage for all the boxes already done. And then everything's all organized. Like here's all the nature stuff. So I made, made little stickers for that. This is where the primer bundles will go. And this is where the preschool bundles will go. And then there is on mission that I have, we have still a lot um, at my printer as well. So let's talk about primer. So primer was formerly called preschool two and thank you, Katie. And I found that people were confused about it. Um, I created it to fulfill Charlotte Mason's attainment, formidable list of attainments for a child of six. And, um, I just named it preschool two because I had named the first one preschool one. And then as time went on, it was like, well, what, what age is this really for? It says preschool and people didn't think about it as a kindergarten program. So um, I asked my Facebook group and they agreed that I really should rename it um, and let it be known as a kindergarten program. So if you aren't familiar with how my, pro my guides work, you can download these teacher's guides completely for free um, because I want you to see that you want to use it before you would spend any money with us because I know how that feels to spend like $200 on curriculum and they get it in your hands and be like, this isn't what I want. So mine always have a really, really detailed part one where I talk about philosophy, like why do we do the things that we do? And then the actual curriculum content is in the back. So part one welcomes you. We talk about how the... um the scope and sequence is like kind of laid out. What are the attainments, memorization? So I go through here and really break down every single aspect of this program so you can see what it includes. And there's, I fixed that on the, this was my, my thing. So um, anyway, I fixed that. So scope and sequence, um, book list and notes, alignment with other programs. Here's an overview of what our unit overview pages look like. So I go through each little piece and break that down so you know exactly what you're looking at when you get back there. Um, and then there's dig deeper if you know, and I really encourage people to read this so that you have a reason for the things that you're doing with your child. So it doesn't seem like, okay, she can repeat this after me. Like, what do I do now? So this talks about what is a memory statement? How do I implement it? And when do I move on from the current memory statements? All those kinds of questions. And then I go through each part of the program. We talk about like, what have I chosen for us to do? And why have I chosen for us to do it? And how do we approach this? So you're really, really going to want to take some time to sit down with a highlighter and, and go through this part one. And then part two, oh, there's scheduling stuff. So there's how to go through the schedule, 
your, your um, bundle, what are the attainments from Charlotte Mason, and then we get back here into the unit overview pages. And you can see they're super, super simple um, to look at. There's a place for you to make notes if you like to write in yours. There's a checklist each week of the books and the materials and stuff that you um, do, do need or might like to use. And this is 36 units long. Um, so I'm not going to get into like the information like why do we do all this kind of stuff because that's that's in the teacher's guide um, and probably should do a full video about that but your teacher's guide will come with this nice like clear cover um, a nice sturdy blue back it's wire o bound and of course full color and I I get I go a little crazy on my paper I, I choose a lot thicker paper than a lot of other um, programs that I've purchased just because I really want it to feel substantial and like you, you know, got what you paid for. So here's the rest of the bundle. And it might feel a little overwhelming, but when you order one of these bundles, you're going to get this right on top of your box, okay? And this is going to give you a very like step-by-step -step overview of what is actually in this box so that you are not freaked out by it. And over here, I give you some links as well for um, watching some videos about how to use and schedule this program. Um, and those videos are titled Preschool too, but it, it's, the it's the same thing. So here's everything that's in the bundle. Um, this is my edit, so you might see some marking on here. The teacher's guide memory statement cards and headers. So I walk through all of the things that come in it and then I give you a step-by-step -step getting started checklist specific to the print bundle. Um, and then in here, you'll also find your three-part cards instructions and games, your storyboard instructions, um, and then a copy of the planner, which you can also download free from my website. So this is really, really important. A lot of people pull this out and set it to the side. Please don't do that, especially if you're easily overwhelmed. You're going to want to walk through that as you look at the item so you can get really, really familiar with what everything is. So another way that I wanted to keep things like super simple so it wouldn't be overwhelming because for a lot of people teaching kindergarten, this is your first year homeschooling. So I tell you right on the front, like I am your ABC flashcards and this is what you might do with me. So this is one thing that comes with it. These are printed on a satin 120 pound cover stock. So I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get that, but it's like a really thick card. Um, and these can be displayed, like there's usually two to four pictures for each letter. So you can choose which letter you want to represent your picture. Um, and it goes all the way through the alphabet into some of the initial blends that you would find in most phonics program. I aligned it to all about readings levels one and two as far as which blends we touch on. Um, but those are pretty consistently like the first blends you're going to touch on in any phonics program. So those are all there. And they're super heavy. <laughs> Sorry to get drunk watching this. Okay, so there's your flashcards. Um, the next thing that comes with it are your memory statement cards and the memory statement card headers. So if you are unfamiliar with a memory statement board, I walk you through in the guide how to create one. I also have a highlight of memory statement boards. I have blog posts about memory statement boards. I have IGTV videos about memory statement boards. Like you're not gonna be lost when it comes to a memory statement board. Um, and everyone does theirs a little bit differently. So walk into it knowing that this is like overwhelmed with grace and you have a lot of flexibility. So these are headers and they go at the top of your memory statement board. So for example, here's art and music. So you would cut this little strip out and you would put it on your board, which is typically like a trifold board. Um, this is the physical print bundle, Brit. Um, and then this would go underneath it in unit two. And then you would have the nursery rhyme one. You would cut that one out and you would have that. You would have the poetry and wonder tale and you would grab the poetry and wonder tale card and put that under there. You'll also notice there's cursive and there's a print font. So don't freak out if you're like, I don't want cursive. There's also print. And there are a bunch of options in here that might not correlate with primer. And that's because I use the same header bundle for primer, for all of that nature stuff, and for the preschool bundle. So this header bundle, 
this header set, if you were to purchase the digital nature, you could still use this in, this header set with that. So, and I give you a lot of different options, like this pertains to nature, um, attainments, like Latin. I don't include Latin, but if you want to create a memory statement board that includes a, all of your subjects and you want it to be cohesive, I just wanted you to have all the cards that you might want to use. So it's all the same words in cursive and in print, and you just cut the strips out and they are, like it's lined, so you can you know make sure that they're straight and it looks nice and neat. So those are your header cards for the memory statement boards. And again, there's tons of help available for like actually how to create that. So these are your memory statement cards and everything that you see represented on here is a visual aid for the content that is outlined on these pages. So unit 17, there's, go, there's a card for Wonder Tale, there's a card for Nursery Rhyme, there's a card for Catechism and Bible Story and Manners and Hygiene. You don't have to use all of them. You can create your memory statement board to include the cards that you want to include. You might not do art and music. You might just want to do the Bible stuff or the Wonder Tale stuff. That's totally up to you. Um, we, we combine some subjects so you don't have 500 cards. So this is like Catechism and Character, Virtue, Units 1 and 2, and then 3 and 4. So we go through there. Um, these are Scripture and Bible. So this is the Scripture memory. This is the story that we read in Bible, and this is the story that we read in Theology. This is our Poetry, and then our uh, Wonder Tale. And then we have our nursery rhyme, which I include the whole nursery rhyme on there. So you can get the nursery rhyme book that I recommend because it's beautiful, or you can just use these cards and not, and not get the book. And then this is the manners and hygiene. So this is a variety of different kind of affirmations about um, different aspects about our behavior and our character and our manners and how we take care of our body and all kinds of stuff. And then there are math cards as well. And these math cards are very loosely aligned to kindergarten math with confidence. So if you are not using kindergarten math with confidence, you don't have to use these in the order I have them. You can rearrange them. Um, one thing to recognize is that these memory statements do not have to be in the same order as what you're actually doing in math. So let's say your child does, already knows how to count to 10. Well, the week when you get to this, at week one, you're just going to review, and you might practice counting down from 10. Um, you might review what the coins are. And so some of the language you'll see in here, like five and one more make six, five and two more make seven, that's reflective of kindergarten math with confidence. Um, but these are topics that any kindergarten level program is go, are going to cover. So it, you do not have to use that program. It's my favorite and it is super inexpensive. You can buy the teacher's guide and a notebook off of Amazon for like $38 with prime shipping. And it's really, really, really good math program. And I have an entire video on Instagram about this math program. So the next part is the kindergarten morning binder. I didn't open this one because I don't have one out here in my shop that's already open and I don't want to open it. <laughs> can't send it to anybody if I open it. Um, but just know that this is the same version as what you would individually buy in my shop. Um, this is for age four to seven years. So it has the calendar pages. Um, I have a ton of story highlights about these. I have, um, I don't know that I've done an actual video about them, but they're in my feed a lot here on Instagram, on Facebook, on my blog. So if you have any questions about this, but this covers your daily rhythm of what you would want to review with some handwriting practice, calendar work, weather work, emotional awareness for your child, and then it reflects phonics practice and um, has math that correlates to this and kindergarten math with confidence. Now the next thing before we get to art and music is the storyboard pack. So for every wonder tale that we read, let me find one. So for example, the three little pigs is our first wonder tale. There is a set of cards that gives you detailed information about what goes along with this story. And then you have all these little pieces. Now, they're not cut out, and I'm sorry. <laughs> I think I'd have to be able to order like 10,000 or something, and right now I have like 90 ordered. So we, we're a long way away from these being already done. You don't have to cut out every single little piece. You could just cut out the pieces that you want. 
Um, yes, Sabrina, I'm going to save it. I'll save it for everyone. Um, you can cut out all these little pieces, um, as many as you want to, but these are basically a tool for narration. So often our children that are in K-4, uh, kindergarten, first grade, they have a really hard time coming up with some of the names or the proper word. Like they know the story and they have the images in their head, but they're not quite ready to actually give us a full oral narration. And so these give them some little tools to be able to act out the stories after they've read them. And it's so fun. I mean, it's just like, you know, finger puppet kind of things. It's just a, a great way to be able to have uh, like 30 different stories without having to own like a million different puppets. In the print version of this, you will find that the backgrounds have full bleeds. So no more margin, no margins around those. Like when you print at home, you have that little white band around them, but all the backgrounds now go all the way out. And sometimes there's two backgrounds and you'll kind of like tape those together on the back to have a real big one. But there's a lot of flexibility with the backgrounds. Um, your child is just, you know, leave them to, to make up their mind about which ones. I give suggestions, but you can always kind of do something a little bit different. You don't have to do what I suggested. So there's tons of backgrounds for all these different books. And if you're curious what stories we read, you can go download that teacher's guide for free. Um, if you go to the primer bundle, you can also download the book list for free as well. So you can see what all books you would need. I try to do as many treasuries as possible so that you wouldn't need a ton of books. So a lot of these are actually included in treasuries. So you don't have to have like 500 different books. Okay, art and music. Last, last pieces. So the previous Preschool 2 art guide was pretty basic. And I utilized a book that is no longer in print. And so when I realized that book was now like $100, I was like, oh gosh, we can't do that. Like, that's crazy. So I decided to start all over from scratch with the art and music portion. And some of the, a lot of the activities are the same and we still cover the same art pieces and the artists and stuff. But instead of you needing a book to know what to do, I've included that in here. So we talk about art explorations and composer study. I give you all the information here that you need in order to implement this program. It's super simple. Here's a tool and supply, supplies list, um, some free bonus tools over here. And then I give you an overview because we, we learn about six elements or really seven elements of art throughout the year. So each term we'll cover two of the art elements as we learn about our artist. So we're combining some art education with, um, uh, oh, primer is for kindergarten and first grade. It's not for preschool. You can use it with a preschooler, but it's, it's too much really for like just a preschooler. So most people would use it with their kindergarten and then a, include a preschooler, but you would probably not get it just for your preschooler. Um, and then, so these are the art and elements. And then, so we got term, we have term one here. So here's the artist, here's the art element, here's the materials you need, here's the activity, here's a picture of it. And then here's the composer. So we go back each week, we have an artist study one week and a composer study the next week, and an art study and then a composer study. And these all use like super, you are not, I mean, you're not gonna find like a super complicated activity in here. This is for real people. Um, <laughs> don't want you to have to spend a bunch of money. So most activities are things that you can just use from around the house, but you're learning, they're learning about these art elements without it being complicated or so much of a pain for you that you're like, I don't want to get that out and have to deal with it. Um, that's my goal is for you to want to do it with your child. So this is like a saddle stitched kind of magazine type binding. If you get on mission, this is printed in the exact same way as on mission, same paper and everything. So that is the art and music guide that gives you all the instructions about what you'll need to do. And then it comes with two tools. So these are the art and music three-part cards. And three-part cards can be used for a lot of different stuff. Um, you'll see that there are instruments in here. There is the actual art from our different artists. And there are two of every one of these cards. So going back to our getting started guide, where I mentioned that there are three-part card instructions. 
here's what you do with them. So I suggest a variety of games and essentially you're just going to set these up in a convenient place. We separate art out from the music and every week whether we're doing art or we're doing music, we use these to play one of these simple games. Once you play each of them like one time, you'll, you'll know what to do from that point on. It's very, thank you, um, it's very, very engaging, very, very simple, and that's what it's all about. So there's a lot of review and a lot of fun to be had with these, with these cards. And there's a lot of different ways to use those as well. You can just Google three-part card games and just be overwhelmed. So that's why I give you a list of ideas so that you won't be overwhelmed. I'm out of breath. I'm talking so fast. But this is the last thing. So this is the art poster set. And again, I do super fancy schmancy, heavy duty um, paper and because I want it to last. And so these can go up on your memory statement board. Um, you usually have like, you might have this space one along with the art that we're studying for space, which would be like the little street from Vermeer, but we're just gonna grab this one, girl with a pearl necklace thing. Okay, so you might have this displayed and then this displayed. So the art prints, if it's possible that they were printed without that margin, that's what we did. Um, a lot of the art is actually not conducive to not having a border because obviously we have eight and a half by 11 paper, but some of Monet's worked out very well where we don't have a border. And when you flip it over, boom, which they actually did that upside down. So your version will be just where it's actually up here like it's supposed to be. But you have the artist and the name of the thing with when it was painted. Um, shipping to Canada. So shipping to Canada is, I'm going to get through this and I'll answer a few of these questions that I'm seeing. So there's your art and music posters and then we go into Kandinsky as well. And then in the back of it, you're going to have some worksheets. So I'll say, hey, there's a worksheet in your art and music poster pack to use for this. So you just come over here and you grab that. And then I even stuck um, some coloring pages for music listening time, for quiet music listening time, in the back of some of the different instruments. So that should keep you busy for a year. So I'm going to turn my camera back around. So a couple of the questions that I got. Um, the first one was, are you going to ship to Canada? So I've had a terrible time shipping internationally right as COVID was hitting. And um, it was not pretty. And there was a lot of hard lessons learned. And then once, once COVID was in full swing and all the shipping complications, I just realized like I couldn't do it. And I had one person beg me, please, 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 I'll pay anything, just box up all these different things and send them all to me at one time to Canada. Well, shipping was around $90 and it was about 20 pound box. So it was like not much more when these primer boxes are 18 pounds. So these primer boxes are 18 pounds. So her box was like 20 bucks or 20, 20 pounds. It was 80 to $90. And when it got to the border, they would not let it go through to her unless she paid $75 in tariffs, which seems to be something to do with like the NAFTA stuff, the changes. And so I paid that for her. Um, because we, um, you know, didn't want her to not be able to get her stuff or that she would have to pay that extra money. So I can't ship to Canada. I can't ship internationally. And I'm so, so sorry. Um, but I can recommend that maybe you would have it printed locally and do the digital files. The other question was about the books. So like I said, if you'll pop over to my shop, it's shopgentleclassical.com. On that main page, you'll see primer bundle. And when you click primer bundle, you'll see book list. Um, the books that I recommend, most of them are fairy tales. Now, I have specific versions that I've chosen because of the illustrations and the ways that the fairy tales are portrayed. Sometimes fairy tales are like too much, like they're too much for young children. And sometimes fairy tales are so softened that we lose some of the benefit of a fairy tale, which I talk about in the teacher's guide. Um, so the ones that I have chosen are very intentionally chosen. However, there are like a million different versions of Little Red Riding Hood and the, little, and the Three Little Pigs and all that kind of stuff. Some of the books that I've gotten um, are things that you would definitely be able to find in your library and some maybe not, but you could probably find them on eBay, Thrift Books, Abe Books, 
used on Amazon, Amazon, all that kind of stuff. Um, so let's see. Um, oh, somebody asked me to scan back through. Okay, so I'll turn, I'll, I'll pop it back around and run back over everything after I get it straightened out and let you guys see it. And then if you have any more questions or if you have a question that I didn't answer and you want me to see it, then um, go ahead and pop that back up. Let's see. Okay, so you guys like my pictures my sister gave me. I have these at my pond, so I'm obsessed with them. Um, they're what I get to stare at while, while I ship, and I love it. So you get this wire O bound, um, super good quality printed. I'm not just saying that because like I do it. Like I go extra. I'm extra about how my stuff is being printed. Um, and so that is the teacher's guide. You get a getting started guide with an explanation of what all of this stuff is along with a checklist. Um, and then it also includes some instructions for your storyboards and your three-part cards. You get the art and music posters, which include all of the art prints we will study, posters for the art elements, as well as some worksheets that we use according to the instructions in the art music guide, which is like a magazine style book that goes through every unit and gives you instructions and pictures of what each of your activities um, would look like. And they're super simple activities, but they teach an actual lesson related to the art element that we're learning about. And then you also have a double stack of three part cards. So every card's in here twice, so you can play lots of games. Games are outlined in here in your three-part card instructions. If you have the digital files, which the digital files come free with a pre-order, the three-part card instructions are included like in that same file. They're just broken up for print because it makes more sense. Then we have the header cards for creating a memory statement board, and there are cursive ones as well as print ones. Then there are all the memory statement cards for the different subjects. There are storyboards. And so there are, I think, 30 different storyboards along with backgrounds that don't have a border. So I'm extra excited about that. And then also the kindergarten morning binder and the watercolor ABC flashcards. Every letter has a couple of different picture options. So you can choose the one that works best for you. And that is it. Um, so, okay, a couple questions. A couple people are like, when is the preschool one coming out? I worked all day yesterday on preschool. I'm going to work the rest of the day today on preschool. Getting preschool done as I get morning virtues done is like my top priority. I have set a goal for myself that I would have preschool done by June 30th. Um, I may begin a pre-order a little bit prior to June 30th, and then the digital files and stuff would release on June 30th. Um, and then if, Lord willing, okay, uh, so if things go according to my plans, then um, I would we would start shipping that toward the end of July. So we're looking at like a, you know, mid-20, like maybe July 20th, 25th kind of like whatever I give my printer, I need 200 of these, then he needs three weeks to get them printed and boxed and, and shrink wrapped and all that kind of stuff. So that, and then hopefully I can keep those in stock, but it's just like with primer. The way I do things is if you order 80, I'll order 150 because you've helped me pay for that many, not quite that many, but you've helped me pay for a good chunk of it. And so then I can have them in stock for people going forward. That's how the pre-orders basically make it possible for me to have print products. Otherwise, I would not have print products because I'm not going to go to the bank and borrow $20,000 and then hope <laughs> that people buy it. I'm just not, just not there yet. Um, so that's how the pre-order will work with preschool. There will be more firm details as we get closer. Um, I have a lot of preschool done. The main thing I'm working on with preschool right now is the handicraft and activity guide that is like detailed activities and extra books and all kinds of extra stuff that people always asked for with the original preschool. That's going to be all in its own little guide that comes in the bundle. Um, and then there was another question. Could this be extended over two years? My just turn. Okay, yes. So absolutely. I actually 
ask my Facebook group. And if you're not a member of my Facebook group and you're on Facebook, I really encourage you to go over there and browse that group. There's about 3,500 ladies in it. They're all amazing. A lot of times that you, people will ask questions there instead of emailing it and they'll get like the best answers. And it's just a fantastic group. People ask tons of questions, tons of information about getting, getting books. Now it's not a BST, it's just like a support group for dental classical programs. Um, Anyway, someone just gave me a review where they went through primer for kindergarten this year and they really focused a lot on the Bible and the catechism and um, the wonder tales and all this kind of stuff. And they didn't quite do as much of everything as they wanted to. So she's going to go back through it again this year. Um, I did primer last year as I was writing it with my boys and they were like only like four and three at the time. And so we just did parts of it um, because they weren't quite ready for it. And that's what I'm going to be using with my boys this fall. And they'll be six and turning five. So you absolutely, it's so much stuff. You could absolutely use it for more than one year. Are there any more questions? Um, I feel like maybe I got to all of them. I hope that I did. Oh, is it for sale right now or coming soon? It is for sale right now. So you can buy the digital files at any time. I just did an update when I renamed it and I fixed, like it's not new, totally new stuff, but it's just mostly edits other than that art and music guide. Um, and so you can go purchase and print at home anytime you want to. The pre-order for the print bundle ends this Sunday night. It's $139.99 right now. That includes free economy shipping or you can upgrade shipping. Um, they will not ship until May 31st. So keep your shipping choice in mind. If I do media mail, it can take two to three weeks. Just letting you know, it could take four days, but it can also take two, three, four weeks. So just depends on what kind of mood the postal service is in. Um, so if you really want it quickly after May 31st, then please pay, I think it's $13 or $15 because it's a 15 pound or 18 pound box um, to go up to UPS shipping. So you can get it in like three to five days throughout most of the country. Um, again, I can't ship internationally. I'm so sorry. And right now when you when you get it for $139.99, that includes the digital files. So after Sunday, the print bundle alone will be $149.99, which I always have free shipping on my website, so that's not special. Um, but the files, like with the digital files, is like $164.99. So you have to pay like an extra $15 for the digital files. So right now, $139.99, you get it with the digital files. And if you need, what, like what would you do with the digital files? Well, you may need to print out extra pages of the kindergarten morning binder. You may want to print out some of the extra worksheets from the art and music guide. Your kid may eat a flash card. Like it's just nice to have the digital files as backup. Um, in case things get damaged or you need extra. So that is all. Um, there's a link in my profile to get over to that. And I'm going to save this video. So if you came in at the end and you're kind of wanting more of the detailed walkthrough, you can kind of go back once it gets posted and um, look back through. And feel free to give us a DM, a message. If you aren't sure if this is a good fit for your child, I have a curriculum advisor. You can email, you can DM me and she'll get it. Or you can email Laura at curriculumhelp at lifeabundantlyblog.com. Um, and she will help you. And there's also help at shopgentleclassical.com. At the top, it says, which program do I get? So you can learn about our um, nature program that goes alongside Primer, as well as on mission or any of the other stuff that we have. So thank y'all for joining me. And I hope you have a wonderful day, ladies.